decisions Motherfuck my peers, I'm the man of the year Welcome back everyone to episode 16 of Making Money and I went ahead and got my perks on my gear and I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I got on my gear. So my main hand I didn't get anything because Aftershock 3 is like 100 mil and I only have 108 mil so I don't want to waste my whole bank on just one perk even though I think Aftershock is pretty good and I think Aftershock 3 is guaranteed I think. I'm not really sure about that but I don't want to waste 100 mil right now so I'm not going to have anything on my main hand. My off hand right now I only have precise 5. I think that's the only one that you should really have on your off hand. And I did get this for free because I disassembled the Armadillo War Priest. So now I don't have any War Priest but I guess that I can just get that back. And then my body I have Crackling 3. I got this very quickly the first attempt I got it. And that's with, I think, let me see, I have the notepad open, four explosive and one imbued component. And I did get that on my first attempt. And I get a message from plans. Let's see. Yes. I can't type. Yes. It is. Oh, shout out to you. <laughs> and, um, and then on my legs, I did get biting two. And I didn't want to get Biting 3 because that's like 260 mil or something like that. And you can get your scythe to level 9 and you get like 20 Zeros components. Which I'll do that eventually, possibly. But I don't want to waste 260 mil just for uh, Biting 3. So I got Biting 2 for the meantime. I don't think that's a big deal. You know, it'll be a lot better if I do get 3 eventually. And then also I did get Venom Blood with biting two which is pretty cool and then the last gizmo i got enhanced devoted three i'm really happy with this one because it's going to help a lot when i do raxi so that's what i have currently i think i got you know most of the good stuff on my gear except for my ha main hand because i, I don't want to spend a lot of money just yet and then for my dry gores i do not have anything on them just yet i think i'll do the same thing i'll just get precise five and then maybe leave the main hand with nothing or maybe find a substitute and put something on that one just finished up with an hour of Twin Furies. It was actually my very first time going to that boss. And I did a duo with Fumes. And I got every single drop, which is kind of weird. And I guess it's because I had better gear. And I also have, you know, perks on my stuff. And he doesn't. But here is the price check. I think it's like 50 or 55 minutes that we stay there exactly. Somewhere around there. We didn't stay the full hour. But 5 mil, I think that's like what you usually get there anyways. So I think I might go there solo once in a while, but um, still in this episode, obviously, I really want to do some raids. I was going to do it tonight, but I'm going to have to watch a little bit more guides to see how you actually do it. I went ahead and sold my Silverhawk feathers that I was going to flip merch. So I sold them for 26.3k and I got back 52.7 mil and I did buy those feathers for a total of 44.7 mil earlier so I made about 8 mil in profit so that's not too bad I was gonna wait until they were going to hit 28k but I wasn't really certain that they were actually gonna hit that so I made enough profit already from them and I decided to sell them early so hopefully that was a good decision on my part first Araxi kill in a while almost died because I had to turn on my recorder and let's see what we get we get absolute shit <laughs> like usual not really i get pretty lucky here but i'm gonna do this for maybe an hour hey that's more like it 5.9 mil from this drop about to do my very first raid and i am honestly very nervous we're just waiting on one more person he just hopped so we're gonna get right into it i don't know if i'm gonna show you the whole kill i might as well just show you my death if i do die <laughs>
first ever kill of Beastmaster, and I don't know where to loot it. Gotta wait a little bit, I guess. Loot it, and probably won't get anything. I don't really care, honestly. The first ever kill, 1.5 mil. I'm not gonna re-roll it because I don't want to. No, fuck, I will. No, I can't anyways. Okay. I'm just gonna bank it all. So that was my very first kill. I might have a little montage of like the kill and stuff. I want to give a shout out to Dunno, a name helped me get my very first raid kill and then also set up the grouping system, got all the 10 people in there and then also gave me some tips before going in and trying to kill Beastmaster. So thank you very much for that. And then also for Weavy, uh, I met him there at raids and he said that he watches my videos and uh, Weavy said that he'll be able to do some duo next with me. So might be doing that very shortly. I'm not really sure when because my main priority right now is to do Beastmaster, but I don't have a superior void yet. I have the gloves and then the helmet right now. And apparently you don't need to have superior void. Uh, you just need one person in the duo to actually have it. So I could go with Pernix, but I really wanna still get superior void out of the way either way and use that at next. So that might be potentially in the next episode for next. I don't think it'll be in this episode because I want to focus on more Beastmaster. And then also I'm going to go to Araxi in a moment. Here is what the loot tab is looking like. It's very bad, obviously. I haven't done that much stuff yet in this episode. This is my third kill for Beastmaster. I did a second kill yesterday, but I didn't reset and I didn't get any loot from that one. So this is my second time looting it and a 1.8 mil from this loot. And I want to say that I'm not using the Reign of Vigor because I was really worried about dying. So I wasn't really paying attention to my DPS for the first three kills. Whenever I go back, I'm gonna use that ring and try to improve on my DPS because like I, I just said, I was really scared of me potentially dying. So that was my main focus and I think the next kills, I'm gonna try my best to DPS a little bit more. This took me quite a bit of time, but I finally finished it. I now have a full set of superior elite void. So now I can go to next and finally kill it. So I don't have the melee helmet and the magic helmet superior yet. I'm not really too worried about that. All I need is range for uh, next, I believe. So I'm going to go do next, maybe in the next episode, because I really want to focus on Beastmaster. If I do any more kills, I'm still at three kill counts. And then maybe some other type of bosses. And then for, you know, episode 17, that's what I'm going to try next and see if I can solo it. This is something that I have to deal with every single day. It's getting so fucking annoying. I'm gonna die 100%. I've been DC'd like this for a minute straight. And I'm still getting notifications in my chat box. I'm connected, but nothing's actually loading. Let me try to load something on Google Chrome. Oh, there it is. The fuck was that? <laughs> oh my God. How am I alive? Holy shit. This is all... <laughs> that just went by really quick. But yeah, my internet's complete shit. So that's why I can't really do any PVMing on like high tier bosses. That looked really weird though, but... Yeah, it's just honestly really, really annoying to deal with. Can I show you how many times I DC in a day? This is the uh, second time in about six minutes, I think. So I expect maybe like... Two or three more in, the, in this trip. Hey, third time. This is fun. So I got all the loot from two hours of killing Zamorak in my inventory right now. And as you can see, I almost got the full set of War Priests again. All I'm missing is the boots. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to disassemble the War Priests again for the uh, Zamorak components. I'll just have to wait and decide about that. And if I do, I'll save, you know, a lot of money. So if I do want to get Impatient 3 on my uh, chest plate, I think, for my Pernix, then I might as well disassemble it. But then also, I'm not really sure if War Priest is the same drop rate as the rare drops as Amarok. If you guys do know, you can let me know in the comments. And let's do a price check. And from two hours, 3.1 mil. And this is pretty much like the lowest that you can get, honestly. You should usually get well, at least maybe one drop in two hours. Uh, I got very unlucky and didn't get anything, so that kind of sucks, but I did get three disconnects, which 
<laughs> that pissed me off honestly i kind of wanted to show you guys those disconnect clips just because that's what i honestly have to deal with every single day i know it's probably a little bit annoying seeing me complain in those three clips but i just kind of wanted to show you guys the stuff I have to deal with with my uh, internet provider. I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. So this is the loot that I got in this episode. I know it's pretty underwhelming because I did do a lot of wrecks, you don't get me wrong. I'll show you my kill count. It's at 163, so I think I did about 25 or 30 kills in this episode. So I did do a good amount of wrecks, but I just didn't get any type of drops. I'll show you my bank real quick. I did get four skilling keys in my Arachid trips so I can make two full ones. I got a lot of dwarf weed seed drops and those drops were like 40k each so I got like nothing at Araxi so I got pretty unlucky there. And then also the reason I have 8.8 mil is because 8 mil in profit from my Silverhawks and then the 882k from these two hours in rock trip. So let's do the uh, price check for you guys real quick and it turns out to be 29.6 mil and i'm going to keep the oh i thought these were u seeds never mind i'm going to sell those um there are lanta dime seeds i'm going to save these because um jagex said that they might be removing seed drops from like bosses or i think slayer assignments or something like that so these are going to go up a lot and i'm just going to save them so let's just take these out and you know it's still at 29.6 mil and yeah, it's it was honestly kind of underwhelming in this episode. I just got very unlucky at some bosses. But the good thing is that I do have perks on my Pernix. And then also I did do Beastmasters. So I guess that kind of like evens out the bad in this episode. So let's just sell this real quick and see how much money I do get at the end of it. Add the money to the pouch and it is 29.3 mil that I got from selling all the items. So in the next episode for sure I will be doing next I have a friend that is going to get Superior Void tonight I think when I'm recording this so maybe in a few hours from now I might be doing some duo next and then eventually I might try some solo next and see if I can kill it. So I want to show you my Beastmaster kill count it's still at 3 unfortunately I didn't do that many kills I think my yeah uh, he's not online right now I'll I might ask him maybe tomorrow or something to do some more Beastmaster. And um, I don't know if I'm going to do uh, the uh, other one, Yakamaru. I watched the guide. Uh, it's It looks like it's easy, I guess. But when you're actually killing the boss, it's more difficult because you usually forget what to actually do. So I'm going to have to watch a little bit more videos on this. But the main reason I mentioned already is that my internet's just so inconsistent and I will probably DC. So that's why I don't like doing difficult bosses right now at this time. So... Um, maybe down the road. I actually did DC at Beastmaster once already when I was doing my second kill count, but I didn't lobby, thankfully, but it's bound to happen, honestly. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. It's a little bit underwhelming in my opinion, but I can't really do anything about that. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to please leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.